What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about Rex. The big guy sleeping right now, let's see if we can get him out and then we'll start talking about him. So he's not asleep, but he's not out, so I'm gonna to have to get him out. Oh, maybe he'll just come out himself. Let's see. Hmm. Look how big he is though. Like, that's my hand. I got a pretty big hand. And his head's almost the size of my palm. That's cool. So he's out a little more. Let's see if we can give him a good morning hug or kiss. Or just show him some affection because you know what? Even though he's a lizard, he deserves love. We're going to pet him under the chin. He likes that. Pet him on top of the head. He likes that. I'm sorry my camera work's not that good. I'm all by myself right now. But look, look how good he is. I gotta literally put my finger in his mouth and he won't bite me. That's a good boy. That's my good boy. You might be wondering, Ethan, how do I get a Rex? It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of money. So on the internet at Morph Market or just at a pet store, you can get a Savannah monitor for about $60. But that's like the cheapest thing that's going to happen for a Savannah monitor. You're going to need a lot of money for enclosures and growing them up as they get older and bigger. You're going to need a lot of money for food because they eat a lot. You're going to need a lot of time. It's taken me four years to get Rex how he is today. It didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen in two weeks. Four years. And that's every day for four years working with him for at least an hour. And you can probably do it faster, but like just like you spend less time during the day. But I like to do it for an hour, so he just gets really used to me. And I'll give you some tips in a second on how to get him like training tips. But back to the enclosure, this is a 14 foot enclosure. All for him, just him. No other lizards in here, just Rex, 14 foot. And it's, it's melamine too, the good stuff. And it's glass and all that stuff. That's a lot of money. You're gonna need a lot of money for these guys. So let's get into training tips. Now training tips. Um, Baby Savannah monitors really like smell. Like their smell is like their best strength. So when you have a baby Savannah monitor, you want to take some clothes that you wore throughout the day, like socks, something like that, an undershirt, something. And you want to put it where they sleep. And when they get that, they'll get that smell of you and associate it with the comfort of sleeping. Also, you want to rub up under their chin and get your scent on their face. Because the more they smell you and the more they can smell, their house smells like you, the more that um, you, they're going to associate their house with you and comfort with you. Common practice in taming down these animals is um, handling them in a bathtub or in water. You don't want to do that. Savannah monitors do not like water that much. They will drink it and they'll poop in it. That's about it. They don't like to swim. They don't do that stuff, at least not in my experience with them. They don't, they get stressed out in water. So you want to avoid that at all costs. Another thing you want to avoid is handling on feeding, around feeding time. So like, say you're going to feed them on a Tuesday night. You can handle them up to Tuesday at noon. If you feed them at like five, I would give them time to settle back into their house to eat. So they're not associating you with food. Also, it gives them, that gives them time to rest so they can digest better. Um, yeah, the biggest tip I have is just spending time with them. You don't have to handle them. You don't have to be touching them all the time. You just have to be in there. They just have to see your presence. Like, like what I'm doing right now, Rex is right there. I'm right here. I'm not touching him. He's not touching me, but he sees me. He smells me and he's in his own house. So he gets the comfort of, of his own house, but seeing me. That's the biggest thing. Just let them see you and smell you while they're in their house and they will associate their house with you and they won't be as angry. So yeah, that's about it with training. We I could go into more de depth with questions and stuff like that in the comments. If you have questions, just comment and I'll answer. I'll try to make videos on the questions. But now let's get into care. So everyone does this different, but this is what works best for me. For my Savannah monitor, I keep his basking spot at about 130 degrees with it cooling down all the way to about 85 to 90. So 
130 all the way down to about 90, 85. And that's been working best for me with keeping his water on the cool side. And then of course he has the side over here, but that's what works best for me. His humidity is usually always at 50 to 60% humidity. Again, everyone does it different, but that's what works best for me. And it's obviously working pretty well. Um, feeding, I'll feed him every other day, maybe three times, twice a week. Um, that's just to keep him lean. But when they're babies, they can eat a lot more. Not too much more, but they can eat more often because they're growing. So babies will eat about every other day to every day, small meals. But that's just because they're growing. And so with that enclosures, we can talk about enclosures. He has this giant enclosure, but he didn't start off in a giant enclosure. You want them to stay in smaller enclosures until they get almost full grown because the smaller enclosures keep them a little more tight. And if they have too much space, they stress out easily. And when a stressed animal is stressed, when an animal is stressed, that's when they're mostly angry or angry. So keep in a smaller enclosure for a while. So while you're taming it, so it doesn't feel like it has too much room and it gets stressed out. But once, once it's full grown or tamed down as much as you need it to be, 14 foot enclosure works amazing. I've seen people use grow tents, that works okay. I've seen people use just plain wood instead of melamine and that works good too. It just, this I think looks the best. So that's what we did because it's kind of like a center, like an aquarium, but for a lizard. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, just comment down in the comments. And yeah, see you later.